never mess around, gotta keep it all G. Yeah, they started to so turn it for G. So today we're going to talk about Matt Ox, who is, uh, it looks like the internet's next big, why the fuck does this exist, uh, musical artist. It's a new genre I'm just making right now. Uh, he's kind of like the toddler white version of like a little Uzi Vert. Or an XXX Tentacion. Uh, who coincidentally just last night got fucking drilled on stage at one of his concerts. Roll the clip. Ooh, fucking flatlined. Anyways, I'm not really sure who this cat is, but uh, he's gone pretty viral recently. I'm sure you've seen, maybe you've seen some of his videos or you've probably seen a, a ton of other people make videos about him. Like I'm Alex, I just like to be a little late to the party usually. And uh, I'm a music guy myself, so I always like to kind of dive in and kind of take a look for myself and really absorb what I'm seeing. Uh, and then, and then, probably kill myself by the looks of things but why don't we take a look here his most recent hit called overwhelming uh posted about two weeks ago has 3.2 million views looks to be a real uh treasure <laughs> hold on my dude goes from flexing the flaming hot funyuns and flaming hot cheetos Next frame, fucking fidget spinner eyes. Doubling them up. I only have one. <laughs> There's no secret why this has 3.2 million. This kid is a fucking fire straight out of hell. This, this track is hotter. This is my favorite scene, really. I mean, just classic hanging out in front of the Brazilian market on the corner, chilling on your dirt bike, white towel over your head, really exemplifying the struggle as a young white uh, rapper. Is he a rapper? I don't know. There's got to there's got to be a name for this genre. Shit. I think it's sh I think shit might be the name for it, but maybe it's, I don't. If you know the name, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in the kitchen, and you know I'm whipping All my sauce is dripping, did my chicken in it Boy, you know I'm flexing, yeah, I'm up next, man Riding in a Lexus, my homies get big checks Yes, I'm in the kitchen, and you know I'm whipping All my sauce is dripping, dip my chicken in it Boy, you know I'm flexing, yeah, I'm up next, man Riding in the Lexus, my homies get big checks Does this ninja have a ghost rider or what? Because he is dropping bars on motherfucking bars! Woo! Anyways, his most recent track was absolutely not a letdown. Let's try and take a quick dive into some of his older stuff, see what we can uh, dig up. Next up, we have Michael Myers by Maddox. Uh, over two months old. If I had to take a quick stab, this one is 320,000 views. Like nothing compared to the one we just watched. Probably criminally underrated if I have to get. I haven't seen it yet, but let's take a peek. Listen, when I'm right, I'm right, okay? Michael Myers slept on hit of 2017. I mean, this should have been, this should be this summer's banger, but instead we have to listen to fucking DJ Khaled and Justin Bieber when Michael Myers is over here dropping magma hot lava from the sky on all the little pigeons down below, only pulling 320,000 views. Now, again, this was before he went viral, so I think he's really getting his due now, but I just, I'm just, I'm just proud of this young man. He's really, he's putting together, ah, wow. Heavy 808s, 
diamonds on his neck and his mom's kitchen knife in his right hand. I mean, this has all the trappings of a very, very well put together rap video. In all seriousness though, this kind of shit really uh, intrigues me. Like I wonder if Matt Ox in real life takes himself seriously or if this is all for the meme, like he just knows how ridiculous it is. Uh, I, I don't, it's tough to tell. I mean, we are in a place now where this, this rap game has kind of evolved. There's this whole sub, sub genre of rap now with like XXX Tenacion and Lil Uzi Vert and Lil Yachty that's just, I mean, is uh, musically speaking is garbage, but it's captivating audiences of millions of people all over the world. And I think one of the interesting parts about this Matt Ox kid is not only is he fucking seven and a half, years old, but he's also white, and this style of music generally is associated with black culture. <gasps> Did he say black culture, you racist? Shut the fuck up. So you have this hard-hitting, trap-style, bass-heavy, shit-lyric, auto-tuned rap banger juxtaposed against this fucking seven-year-old white kid from the suburbs, or maybe he's urban, I don't know, but uh, it just creates uh, virality. That's that's where this comes from. It's, it has not much to do with it being good music. It's just, I think, the ridiculousness of it that makes it do so well. But I figure, you know, I see someone like Matt Ox do something like this, and as someone who dabbles in music production myself, I get a little excited. I see him pulling it off at eight and a half. I'm 32, I'm thinking maybe maybe Leon could whip up a little something on the keys, put together a beat real quick and see if I can't um, see if I can't pump out a banger real quick before this video is over. Yeah, I'm in the kitchen. Yeah, you know I'm whipping. All my sauce is dripping. Dip my chicken in it. Boy, you know I'm flexing. Yeah, I'm up next, man. Ride in the Lexus. My homies get big checks. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Downloadable on iTunes. So in typical Leon Lush fashion, let's scroll down to the comments and see if we can't cop a few gems out of the garbage. School shooter. Insightful. Hip hop is like a mountain, most of it black, but white on top. <laughs> oh baby, that's, that's... This kid the future. I certainly hope not. I, pers I personally... That's... fuck, I hope not. <clears throat> Saw this on Insta and a bunch of people saying it's cringy, but he actually lit as fuck. Uh, to each their own, I guess. I'm actually coming across a surprising number of comments on this video that are very impressed by Maddox. Which <clears throat> has me thinking two things. First, it, it has me concerned with myself. Maybe I'm just that out of touch. Or maybe people just have terrible fucking tastes. Maybe. Mad Ox, greater than Mozart. <clears throat> nope. She suck me says, this go dumb hard. The level of intelligence in this comment section is remarkable. What the fuck did I expect? I don't know. Bruce Wayne says, underrated as fuck, lit emoji. And Take Me Bootios lol responds with overrated, I think you mean. <laughs> that pretty much sums this up. Matt Ox is kind of like the Donald Trump of music. You either love him and blindly follow him to the death or you want him to die in a fire. Uh, which one are you? I'm not gonna dive off. I mean, I might, Matt Ox might be my guilty pleasure. I'm not gonna admit that on camera right now, but maybe I'm at the gym, I'm repping some fucking overwhelming. You know what I'm saying? I'm hitting those, I'm hearing those bars, I'm hitting those beats, and it, what do you think? Is Matt Ox, is he your cup of biscuits? Is Matt Ox your hammock full of jelly? Well, uh, tell, let me know in the comments below, and then do me a favor and just, uh, just tap, uh, tap the like button, button with the tip of your <laughs> or whatever else. See if you have like a pencil, make sure you just hit the like button, 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 that, and then, uh... Nigel, what else, what else would you like him to do? Subscribe and turn on notifications. That's exactly right. Go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications to... Just fucking, just do it. Here comes a new outro song. Holy cow. You. You. You.
I need some motherfucking views. Views.